All right, y'all, today we're gonna do the big one. We're doing a crawfish boil down here in New Orleans, y'all. It's a beautiful day outside. I got my hands on some crawfish. Let's go. So now we're in December, but this is the crawfish we got. They're really not all too big or too small. They're pretty decent. Like I said, crawfish don't come in until February. That's prime time. But we're gonna go ahead on. We're gonna have ourselves a crawfish boil, New Orleans style. Something else I wanted to tell y'all, okay? Of course, you're gonna get some of the crawfish that are gonna die, right? Before you cook them, okay? Hopefully you don't get too many, but you're gonna get some. And if you do, what's gonna happen, y'all, when you boil it, is the tail's gonna be straight, just like that. The good ones that you want, the tail's gonna be curled up, okay? When you boil it, this tail gonna roll up like that, okay? If it don't, and it's straight like that, that means he was dead, and you just don't eat that one. All right, y'all, so to start off, let's go ahead on, y'all, and get ready and get six lemons cut in half, okay? Uh, the water, like I said, it's already gone. The propane's gone, so just go ahead and get you some lemons cut up. At least six lemons, okay? You're gonna need some celery, okay? So grab some celery. It's really good in a bowl, and just cut it like so, okay? About like that. That's a good little size right there, okay? Just like so. And then when you get to the back part, y'all, go ahead right here and cut that off. But look, you're gonna go ahead and throw this in the bowl too, okay? So all this is gonna be used up in that bowl. So when you're gonna do a bowl and using propane, the heat comes up so high, when you're using your garlic, like I say, you go ahead and leave the skin on. You leave it whole, just like this, okay? And what happens is, it's gonna get soft, it's gonna get good, but it's not gonna fall apart and be all mushy, okay? So you have to leave the skin on your garlic and you just throw it in whole, just like that, about 15 minutes or so, and it'll be ready to go. Down here in Louisiana, you're gonna notice that we use these little baby red potatoes, okay? They're already clean, they're ready to go. Like I said, look. So when you go down to like a seafood shop or something and you, you go buy you some crawfish, say you get five pounds of crawfish, they also offer you like, like five of these in a bag for like $1.50 or something like that, okay? So everybody uses these little baby red potatoes, okay? So get you a couple of bags of them if you can to go with your ball, all right? Now, now look, take you about three onions and just cut it right in half like so. All right, now look. Let me show you something. When you're gonna go ahead talking about a bowl, you're gonna leave the skin on the onion as well, okay? Because if you don't, it's gonna get too mushy and it's gonna fall apart. This onion is gonna turn sweet when we boil it, okay? So leave the skin on your onion. Otherwise, it's gonna be mushy, it's gonna be no good. Have to leave the skin on the onion. Now once you get, take your crab boil seasoning, y'all, and go with half of the container, okay? You wanna make sure they're good and spicy, all right? You see? A little bit more ain't gonna hurt my body. I ain't about that too much, okay? That'd be good. Okay, y'all, so you got your pot. The water's hot, okay? What you need to do first thing first is get you some potatoes in there, okay? Because crawfish don't take but a couple of minutes to cook. So you need to get your potatoes going. They take about 12 to 15 minutes, okay? As well as your garlic, okay? So go with your whole garlic. All right, throw them off in there, y'all. All right, and then as well as you can go ahead and throw your onions in there, okay? On top of that, time to go in with some celery. All right, go in with you some celery, okay? Put the rest of these potatoes up in there. All right, now, of course, next, your lemons, okay? Take your lemons on, just squeeze them in there, okay? As much you can out. Go ahead and get as much of that juice out of there you can, okay? Like I said, go with about six lemons, okay? And then what we're gonna do, y'all, like I told you, I'm gonna let everything, I'm gonna let the, the, the garlic and the potatoes and everything I'm putting in there, but mainly what I'm doing is the garlic and potatoes right now, I'm letting that cook so it's ready, it's gonna be ready to eat by the time I put the crawfish in, because the crawfish don't take long. They take a couple, about two minutes to cook and uh, about 15, 20 minutes to soak. So you see, you need everything ready and that's how you get it all ready at the same time. Now listen, y'all wanted to tell you something about these lemons, okay, because I told y'all to squeeze the lemon in there, right? But don't just squeeze the lemon in there and throw the, throw the whole lemon away, all right? You don't want just the juice, okay? The lemon is gonna give it zest, okay? It pairs perfect with the seasoning that you're using, okay? So go ahead on, just throw it in the pot. Of course, we don't eat them, but I guarantee you, you're gonna taste that flavor in there. So make sure you don't dispose of this lemon. Now, we got some more steps we're gonna take, but for now, let me show y'all inside the pot. All right, y'all, check it out. So now, this is what the inside of the pot looks like, okay? Like I said, we're gonna let this run for 10 to 15 minutes or so, because we want them potatoes and that garlic ready to go, okay? So we know in about 10 to 15 minutes, I'll go ahead and check it, put a fork through it or a knife or whatever you have at hand. And if they ready, 
that's when it's time to add your crawdads in, okay? So right now, like I said, go ahead and put your top on it and let it rest for about at least 10 minutes for your jacket. Now I'm gonna deal with this here smoked sausage, okay? Listen, the crawfish amount that I'm showing y'all right now, we're gonna boil 15 pounds of crawfish, okay? So you know about where we at if you get your hands on some crawfish, that's the recipe you wanna follow, all right? Now you get you some sausage, like I said, it's already pre-cooked. Let's go, cut it up. I like to do it like this, okay? Not too small, okay? But something like that's real nice. You know, when people go to eat it and all that, what have you. So look, I'm gonna do another one here. Just take your sausage here, like so, look, boom. And like that, okay? That's nice pieces of sausage. Like I said, same with the potatoes. I was telling you earlier, if you go to the seafood shop, y'all, look, you can get you about, if you go to the seafood shop and buy you some boiled shrimp or boiled crawfish, you get your bag of sausage like that for about $3, okay? So they sell everything individual, okay? When they sell it, when they do it at the uh, seafood shops around here. Take them, sit them to the side. I'm gonna tell you why. Get your sausage, okay? You move these, let me tell you. The sausage, yo, your corn, as well as your mushrooms, don't go in until one minute before the bowl is ready to be shut down, okay? Because all of these three items, they soak up the seasoning very fast. If you put them in too early, it'll be too hot to eat, okay? So go ahead and take these three right here, set them to the side. So check it out, y'all. I just want to show y'all what it looks like at about five minutes, okay? Things are starting to cook up in there. You see how the onion's starting to soften up right there. You can see all that happening. Look, we're getting there, okay? I want to give you a five minute look, though. That's where you're going to be at, okay? ain't ready yet but look let me tell you something i guarantee you the whole neighborhood knows somebody's boiling okay you gotta hide this in your backyard otherwise you get about 80 people in the front okay to let them potatoes and that garlic boil y'all for like 12 10 to 12 minutes something like that this is what i mean that kind of boil okay i'm talking a rolling ball i wanted to show y'all that i know little baby boy i'm talking about a ball okay so just wanted to show y'all that also the potatoes are done the garlic's done let's go ahead on and throw the crawfish in there All right, y'all, so look, just go ahead in there, work them in, okay? Like, now, like I said, y'all, I want you to just go ahead on now and give it a little mix around, okay, like this. Look, everything mixed up, okay, like that. So the crawfish are in, it killed the bowl, right, because it cooled it down too much, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna let them there come back to a rolling bowl, and you're gonna time it for two minutes. Let them at a rolling bowl, two minutes, shut it down. I'll show you after about one minute from being done so we're gonna go ahead on and add in everything else let's go all right y'all we're gonna go ahead in there with the sausage okay get the sausage up in now and you're gonna go in there with your corn and some mushrooms of course all right check it out some mushrooms up in there now Got us almost about a full pot. Check it out. Like so. One more minute, y'all. We're gonna shut it down and we're gonna go ahead and let this beautiful thing just go ahead and sit there and soak up all that seasoning, okay? You let them soak, so that's what you're looking for. Okay? That's exactly what it looks like right there. Okay? Look at that. That's beautiful. That's what you're looking for. Like I said, that's a hard rolling ball for two minutes. With the crawfish and they're done, okay? They don't take a long time. Now, it may take 10 to 15 minutes to soak up the seasoning, but I'm gonna go ahead and shut them down. What I want you to do is, y'all, just go ahead and give it a little push down right there. Or if you want, you could take a bag of ice and you put a bag of ice on there to stop the bowl and it gets them to suck up the seasoning, okay? Either or, they are done and they're gonna be ready in just a few minutes to eat. The crawfish been soaking, say, about a good 10 minutes. Go ahead and lift that up. Put your paddle underneath it, it's kind of heavy. You're gonna go ahead on y'all, look, take this and sit on the side of your pot, being careful that that hot water don't get on you or your feet, okay? Let the water drain for a couple of minutes. Y'all now, I'm gonna go ahead and take this. We're gonna go inside to the table and we're gonna eat. Let's go. Go ahead on, just dump them out on your table. After you put some paper down, okay? Catch that juice. This time to enjoy, okay? Y'all, this is a traditional New Orleans crawfish bowl. Either, depending on what you like, you're going to have some water. Goes good with it or a beer, okay? Coke don't go too well with it, I don't find, because they spicy, y'all. And let me tell you something, Coke don't do nothing for it, all right? So you go ahead and take your crawfish, 
pop it open right by the tail like so. Let you bite it down. Pinch the tail. Suck the head. And move to the next, okay? Don't estimate y'all how good the sausage is, okay? Mm. I mean, it's wonderful. A little bit spicy, but it's good. I'm gonna add that butter to these potatoes, okay? You can rub it on the outside, you can cut a little slice, cut it in the middle, whatever you want to do. But whatever you do, add some butter to that good spicy potato, y'all. Let me tell you something, it's delicious. So your garlic looks like that, okay? You should be just peel right on off, push it out, boom. That's good. Onion now, down in there, hold it together, take your onion, okay? That's good. So how I peel my crawfish, now we're gonna let Sarah show y'all how she does it. Check it out. Okay, she does it a bit different than me, look. Y'all see me, I just bite the tip and pinch the tail. She goes ahead and peels the majority of it off like so. And you're pinching the tail. She's pinching the tail. Boom. She took it right on up. Time to eat. If you like the video, hit the like button, y'all. Leave in the comments what you want to see me cook next, boil next, and subscribe to my channel. I truly appreciate y'all.